Is she? Is that what? Is, was that her? Yes. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Another one. That's come on by itself. That's come this on. This has just come on by itself. It has. Really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure it's not got time on there? Look into me if that you need to turn the dial to turn it on. That did just come on by itself, but she did not. She made it in that dial. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought it was on a timer because the timer symbol is lit. But that's weird. The night wasn't as eventful as we'd hoped, and Jason's motion sensors detected nothing. However, according to Derek, Isabella Darling was causing the main paranormal activity. It was quite exciting to know that we had discovered not just who was haunting Suter, but she was famous as well. One of the areas that Derek picked up on last night and seemed to link in with psychically were shipwrecks. Now, it's a lighthouse. You'd expect there to be shipwrecks around here. That's why lighthouses are built. Um, so I sort of partially disregarded that as being a little bit obvious. But he did get a few things which he had no prior knowledge of. For example, the name John. And there was a John that lived in one of the rooms or one of the locations within the complex of the lighthouse. And also the name Isabella, who was related to Grace Darling and whose family lived here. There was a tinge of disappointment, maybe a, a large tinge, in the sense that it's out of anyone's hands, a spirit um, uh, who does not at any given time want to communicate, either, either through showing themselves or even speaking direct or even showing, you know, symbols to the instrument, the medium. Derek didn't pick up on some of the things I would have expected him to. He didn't pick up on the lighthouse keeper who haunts the building, who's been seen many, many times. And although he did mention poltergeist activity, it was in his mind related to a spirit called Isabella who hasn't been seen in the lighthouse as far as we know. Um, however, the hauntings in the lighthouse are quite well attested. They're non-sensationalist, they're not publicity seeking, they're not published anywhere. And those are the things really that would, I would question a haunting. I believe the testimonials of the people here, but unfortunately Derek didn't find the ghost I would have expected him to. The truth is the truth. And if there is not a connection, nothing can be done. It's quite simple as that, nothing can be done. Well, there we are, another 24 hours over and done with. Now, we did manage to pick up a little bit of paranormal activity, and Derek did come up with some names that we can historically verify. But the question still remains, is Suter Lighthouse haunted? What do you think? Oh, my word. My ear, my head. And I felt something tickle the top of my head, and I thought it was just a cold yeah. wibble, so I just didn't think anything of it. Oh, it's the old one. Answer it, answer it. 